Hi, my name is Allegra Paris, and welcome to your workout for arms and abs. So to begin, we have a quick warm-up. We're going to be starting with inchworms, then moving into squats and push-ups. This circuit is just three exercises, 10 reps of each, and three times through. So to begin, we're going to start with the inchworms. So give yourself some space here. I always like to do a straight leg inchworm, so I'm going to bend my knees just slightly. Feel that hamstring stretch and crawl out. Crawling back, now that's one. Let's begin with 10 in three, two, one. Squeeze those abs at the top. So I come down just a little bend so I can feel those hamstrings. Friction. And three. Starting to warm up my arms. Squeeze those abs nice and tight here. Warming up that whole body here. Feel that hamstring stretch. Calling it out. And one more. Now, next, we're going to move to body weight squats. So you're going to stand, feet a little wider than shoulder width apart here. Slow toes. Toes slightly turned out. Toes slightly turned out. You drop it down, drive it up. That's one. We go for 10. Squeeze those abs nice and tight here. Chest is up. Two more. And 10. Last one, push-ups. We really want to warm up the upper body today. So come on down. You begin in three, two, one. Elbows are coming back 45 degrees here. Leading with that chest. Two more. And 10. Awesome job, guys. Okay. Big breath. Let's begin. We have two more rounds of this. So starting with those inchworms, straight legs, just a little bend in those knees. We go in three, two, one. One. Two. I'm squeezing my abs while I walk my hands out. So I'm engaging not just my shoulders, but also my core. Warming it all up. Stick with me. And halfway. Keep it up, guys. Feel that hamstring stretch. Two more. Bring it down. We're going to do the palms of my hands. Pressing through those arms. Last one. Good. Let's begin with those squats. I'm going to turn to the side. So feet are wider than shoulder width. Slight turn out of the toes. My knees follow my toes. That's one. We have ten and three, two, one. Get nice and low. Chest is up. Opening up those hips here. Two more. And ten. Awesome job. We have those push-ups again. So coming down, we're gonna show you a modification this time. So option to drop to those knees and work it through like this, just making sure you're still using that test. Otherwise, you're back in this high plank, but you can come to those knees in three, two, one. Just make sure your chest is doing the work here. So again, this is just a modification, but it does still get my arms and chest warmed up. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And coming back up, really good. Final 
round of the warm up. So we're back to those interrupts. Hopefully your, body, your body's staying a little bit looser now. We crawl it out in three, two, one. Feel that stretch. Crawl it out. This is one. Next movement you have is a bear plank hold for 15 seconds. I'll count. Your bear plank, you start in a tabletop. You pop those knees off the floor like this. The lower your knees are to the floor, the harder it is. We're gonna hold that for 15 seconds. I will count in three, two, Your next movement, you have bear plank pulses. So a bear plank looks like this. You're in this tabletop position, but you raise those knees off the floor. Your pulses are gonna look like there's three those knees. Let's begin in three, two, one. So pop your knees off just a little bit. We pulse for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
and 10. It's kind of a double pulse movement there. And rest. Your next movement, we're gonna have toe taps, but now facing the floor. So you're gonna be a high plank here, and we're gonna go tap, reset, tap, reset. Your third movement, you have cross mountain fighters. So you come up into this high plank here, and I'm gonna cross my knee to the outside of my opposite elbow. Full twist here, that was one. 10 total in three, two, one. So you're on a high plank, cross, cross, that's one. Stay breathing. Stick with me here. Two more. Core is engaged. And rest. Awesome job. Just take a quick breather. Our last one is single knee tucks, nice and slow. I'm using socks, so I'm gonna be able to slide on the floor. But it's gonna look like this. You're on a high plank, and you're sliding forward and sliding back. For two, for three. Your fourth movement is double knee tucks. It's gonna look like this, you're in a high plank. Both knees slide forward and slide back. Notice my hips don't raise up or down. 10 total in three, two, one. We have one, two. Keep those feet right next to each other and keep those shoulders right above those wrists. Eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. Really should be feeling that in those abs by now. Quick breath, we're gonna go back down for those toe taps. Let's make our way back down to the floor. This time facing upwards, popping off the floor, toe taps. Starting on that right side in three, two, one. I pop up, I have one. Make sure you tap that toe and halfway. Good, feeling this in those triceps a little bit. Two more. And rest, awesome job. Second movement is those bear plank pulses. So going down twice is one. We have 10 total. Raising those knees off the floor slightly. We begin in three, two, one. I'm up, I have one. Two, three, four. Eight, nine, and 10. With those, you're really pressing through the arm, challenging your core. Third movement, we have those cross mountain climbers. Remember, try to bring that knee to the outside of your elbow. We begin in three, two, one. High plank, that's one, two, Notice my hips do not move. They don't raise or lower. Full twisting, feeling those obliques. Nice and tight. Two more. And we rest. Great job. Final movement, those double knee tucks. Rest the arms quickly. Both knees drive in and out. Hips do not raise or lower. 10 total in three, two, one. We have one. Press through those shoulders. Weight is in the ball of your hands. Shoulders are above those wrists. Two more. And resting. Awesome job. Last movement, we're coming on down. We have those toe taps facing the ceiling. Last ones, last round. In three, two, one. Pop it up, you have one. Two. Stay strong, 
Keep a strong tempo, you're almost there. Reaching in between my knees here. Really feeling this. Two more. And let's rest quickly. Next movement is those bear planks. So come into that tabletop. Big breath in, big breath out. Raise those knees off the floor. We begin in three, two, one. Pop up and pulse for two. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep those knees low and rest. Last two movements. We have those cross mountain climbers and double knee tucks. Let's start with that cross mountain climber, 10 total. Let's start on the right side in three, two, one. High plank you have, that's one. And two, really feeling a twist here. Abs are safe, nice and engaged. Twisting through, pressing through those arms. And rest. Great job feeling it in those obliques. Our last movement is double knee tucks. Shake out the wrist. High plank, last ones. In three, two, one. Driving in and out for one. Two, three, four. Halfway, guys. Squeeze those abs. Shoulders above those wrists. Two more. And 10. Awesome. Let's quickly get into a recovery. So let's get those arms. Come on up. Let's swing those arms out. Palms facing each other. Just a few reps here. And turn those palms out. Let's open up that chest. Let's get some arm circles backwards. Bend those elbows. Waking up that upper body here and swing forward. Awesome. Let's get those lats. Left arm pull over. Right arm pulling over. And let's come down for some yoga. Let's get into a high plank. And that's gonna send you right back down to your down dog here. Stretch through that upper body, stretch through those heels, and come right into an up dog here. Lengthen those ab muscles, look up to the sky. <sighs> Let's lower slowly and begin our cobra pose. So hands are right by my side, elbows are by my torso, and I drive my upper body up for one. <sighs> Back down. Let's do that one more time. <sighs> and come on nice and slow. <sighs> Thanks guys so much for joining Arms and Abs.